Hey guys, J.R. Raymond back again at the training center in TurboTech in Chesterfield, Michigan. And we just got done talking about how there is no right way for your fit to feel. It's completely up to you. But we're going to dive into this just a little bit more when we get back. All right, guys, welcome back. So we, we talked a little bit about fit and how there is no right way to be fitted because everybody's got a different opinion. Every pro shop is going to say uh, either you're fit right or you're fit wrong based on what they believe is correct or incorrect. Um, and that's kind of an issue that we have around uh, the world of bowling right now is there is no black or white when it comes to fitting. So we talked about how it's completely up to you, which it is. If you're comfortable and you can do what you want to do with the ball, then that's all on you. If you like the way your ball fits, even if you blister, I mean, if you want to stick with it, stick with it. But if you're looking to get rid of the blisters and, and fix those little issues that may be causing you to have one or two errant shots a game, then let's talk. So what we're going to look at here, uh, this is a ball that used to fit me back in the day. Uh, I say back in the day, and it was probably like a couple months ago before I changed my fit when we talked about that offset thumb. Um, I had an issue, if you can see here, I had an issue with a burn that came across my thumb right here. And it's getting faint. It's getting real faint right now. And a lot of it is because of the way my ball was pitched. Uh, the hole size wasn't right. My oval wasn't quite right, so I needed to make some changes. So now this was what the old thumb was. We're going to look at this when we go front to back. I don't know if you can see it, but we're going to try to set it up so you can. All right. Left to right, we're looking at zero pitch, which is what I've always been. Now we're going to look at front to back. So we'll go this way. It was right at about an eighth reverse. So, um, that little bit of reverse, which was causing my thumb, I was going this way with my thumb, causes me to squeeze down this way with my thumb, and that's where that burn comes. So what we need to do is we need to pitch towards that burn and pitch it more this way into the ball, so that way I can put more pressure up here rather than down here. So now I have that squeeze this way. And when we're talking about squeezing, there's a proper and improper way of squeezing. This one's not so black and white. This one we're talking about, you don't want to grip it as if you're going this way. You don't want to do it that way because then when you release the ball, you have to release with your thumb. And if you're not doing it the same way every time, it's going to be different every single time. What we want to do is we want to teach to push the nail to the back side of the ball. So that way when you get to the bottom of the swing right here, the ball just comes right off your hand. If you're gripping this way you have to let go of the ball okay so this is more consistent if you're squeezing with the back side of your thumb on here than the other side so when we're talking about fit and your span and stuff like that um, most people are going to have you lay your thumb thumb in and lay your fingers across now the first thing you notice is the center line if you look inside there that center line goes right through the middle knuckle of my my middle finger this is where that whole offset came from so um I have to drill my pitches based on a different center line over here in order to get it right. So that's changed quite a bit. So in reality, my thumb should be over here. So you can see that line up just like that. My thumb should be over here rather than here. Okay. So and the reason for that is that whole offset theory is when you put your hand in the ball this way. Now you have to force your thumb to line up to the straight of your thumb. Because if you put your thumb in like this, you have to force your thumb to get in straight off that straight line. So pitching it off of a different line from your fingers to your thumb this way actually is a little bit better off. Um, so, but we'll dive into that. I'm gonna redo that offset uh, video here in a little bit, and I'll show you a little bit more about that. But for now, people are gonna lay across. And what they do is they like to look and they like to see where this part of the grip or your hole, if you don't have grips, lines up with, the, with your finger. And usually they want to see it somewhere in between the middle of both knuckles. Uh, probably a little bit closer to the first knuckle, but somewhere in there is proper according to the books and what they say. So if you lay your fingers across there and you are not in that range somewhere, you may want to look at it. And again, it's a completely, it's a comfort thing for you. You may be able to 
um, be able to fit and feel okay with the stretch fingers like this. If your fingers come across just straight to that knuckle, it may be okay for you and that's fine. If you're not getting any blisters or any bruising on the back side of your nails, it's not a big deal. But if you do have issues, like say on your thumb, for me it was here, I had to pitch towards it. So I had to pitch my thumb towards that hole. Now if I have issues here on my thumb, I'm going to then pitch it this way and it's going to pitch towards the inside of the thumb to take the pressure off here opposite over here. If I have issues on this side, I'm going to pitch it this way, you know? So those are just some of the issues and some of the key points to look at when we're talking about how your ball fits. So if you run into any of those issues with your hand, take a look at that first. One thing I will say is I want you, what, what you are looking for, in my opinion, you're looking for when you're standing on the approach and you're ready to go, your hands on the ball, the feeling should be whoa, I don't think this thing's going to come off my hand. And then when you go to release the ball, it just flies off your hand. So you should feel nice and tight in the ball. You shouldn't feel like you're going to lose it. I'm okay with you feeling like you're going to hang up as long as you don't actually hang up. That means that the ball, the, the thumb hole is tight enough in your hand um, to where it's not going to cause any pressures. If it is causing pressures, look at some of these examples and try to ch make those changes a little bit as you go. So stay tuned. Uh, for the next part, we're going to dive into this. The third part is going to go back into the offset, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. So stay tuned for that. If you have found the key item that I was looking for, comment below, and you better hurry up because I am going to give some prizes away to those uh, first few people who find it and comment. So until next time, guys, stay tuned for part three. We will see you guys later. Take care.